I don't normally do this but this year I want to do a haul of my empties for 2019 so in this video I'll be showing you all of the empty products that I have managed to use up in 2019 literally from the very first one till the very last day of that year I am a little bit late with this video I realized that unfortunately because I've been really busy I just haven't had a chance to actually film this video so this is why I've left it till now personally I really enjoy watching this kind of videos I find something incredibly satisfying about about looking at a product that has been completely used up and I must say that the 2019 has been a pretty successful year in that sense for me I have managed to use up quite a few items more than I possibly expected starting from the most exciting section of my empties makeup I've managed to use up two bourgeois foundations one is the city radiance foundation and the other one is the Hermat foundation in general I do enjoy bourgeois foundations however neither one of these two impressed me very much in fact I would say probably these are some of the worst foundations I have ever used I am maybe a little bit disappointed that I haven't actually used up more than two foundations but these were completely full at the beginning of the year so at least I can say that I have used up two full products. I managed to use up one primer this is by Lancome and this is the La Base Pro Hydra Glow Illuminating Makeup Primer 24 Hour Hydration. I'm not a big fan of primers I do try to test them every now and then. This primer was no exception I didn't like it I didn't enjoy it and I use it up because it was getting a little bit old so I didn't want it to go completely bad but in general I didn't really notice anything it didn't really do anything to my face as far as I could tell I used up one concealer I can't remember the name of this concealer this is the really famous one by Maybelline as you can see all the writing or almost all the writing is actually gone I didn't particularly like it is this the age rewind maybe I can't honestly remember but I've used it up completely it, it took me surprisingly long to actually use it up so in terms of how much product you get for your money I would say this is a pretty good investment especially since this is Maybelline so this is a drugstore concealer but I really wasn't very much impressed not to mention that in terms of the applicator I am a teeny bit concerned that since you keep using the same sponge that is on top of this product for many many months I'd say that's that's probably not very hygienic so I don't think I will be repurchasing this particular one but I might try a slightly different one this one actually says neutralizer and I think it's slightly different to the concealer with the same name and I think I've heard people say in the the neutralizer is not as good so I might try the actual concealer but I won't be buying the neutralizer I managed to use up three powders two of them were in my project pan one of them is the Maybelline matte maker there wasn't much left but this was a really big powder it initially had 16 grams so I've managed to finally use this up then I used up an almost new product and this was by Clinique this was the redness solutions powder I didn't like it so I'm glad that it gone from my collection and this was I think possibly the oldest powder that I actually had and then I also managed to use up a little powder this is by makeup Op session it had only two grams so I did manage to use it up towards the end of the year it was okay I won't be purchasing either one of those products I used up one blush this was in my project pan I even made a dent in the in the product it was a cream stick blush it was pretty nice but it was very old so I rushed to use it up completely as soon as possible which I did so I'm glad because now pretty much most of my blushes if not all of them are quite new so I don't have to rush to finish another one anytime soon i used up a clear at least it used to be clear brow gel by collection it was an okay product it took me forever to use it up and it did actually keep my brow hairs in place so it made them quite stiff and i know some people do like that it was also very inexpensive i will not be repurchasing it because i want to try other products for brows but overall it was an okay product i used up an eyeshadow that was a loose eyeshadow by number seven it was beautiful i used it as a highlight i am a little bit sad that it's gone i had it in my project pan so it would otherwise take me a very long time to use it up completely and this was one of my oldest makeup products so i am on one hand a little bit sad that it's gone because it was so beautiful but on the other hand i'm glad it's gone because 
because it was just really old. Another number seven product, I managed to use up one of the eyeshadows, there was very little left, it was a cream eyeshadow in gold, so now I can actually get rid of the whole packaging, the whole product is now gone. There were three shades of this eyeshadow, but I used up the other two quite a while back, so um, I just literally had a little bit of the golden one left, and I did manage to use it up actually at the beginning of 2019. I will not be repurchasing this product because it is no longer available, but I wouldn't repurchase it anyway. It was okay at best. I used up one tinted lip balm. This one was again by number seven in Blink Pink. This again was one of the older products, so I was glad to use it up. I did enjoy it. It gave my lips some moisture and a little bit of tint, so I did enjoy using it. I wouldn't repurchase it though because it didn't really do anything special to my lips, but it was a nice product. A no brand lip gloss. This was meant to be a plumping lip gloss. I don't think it did any plumping to my lips, but it did tingle my lips and it was very easy to wear on an everyday basis because it was clear with some glitter in it so I didn't really even need a mirror to apply it. I'm glad it's gone because it actually well kind of expired. Again a really old product so I'm glad to uh, have used it up. I don't think I will be repurchasing it because I don't even know where I could get this lip gloss. A brow pencil. It was actually a double-sided brow pencil. On one end it was just a brown eyebrow pencil. On the other it was like a clear waxy pencil. I used them up quite a while back already as you can see there's nothing left at all. It was okay. It was by L'Oreal, I believe. I can't even tell anymore. It was all right. I wouldn't repurchase it just because it didn't do anything special, but it was okay. Good enough for me to use it up. And I used up two eyeliner pencils. One was by number seven and it was, a, I think, a golden eyeliner pencil. It was okay. I would not be repurchasing it. I just really wanted to get rid of it. I used it mainly as a highlight for the inner corners of my eye. And there was a one, I think that might have been from Remo or no brand. I really can't tell. And that was just a brown eyeliner pencil. I used it as an eyebrow pencil, I believe, from what I can remember. It was okay. Again, won't be repurchasing it. I want to try other products and I wouldn't even know what it was. So I wouldn't know what to look for. I used up one eyelash primer. This is by Lancome Seals Booster XL. It didn't do anything for my eyes or my eyelashes, to be honest. I used it up completely because I knew that I otherwise wouldn't use it because it didn't do anything for my eyelashes so I was literally using it every single day for a number of months and I'm glad that it's gone I will not be repurchasing it I know some people do seem to like it and say that they can see the difference I really couldn't see any difference it was more like an annoyance to be quite honest because I was applying this and I really didn't see a point in applying it nevertheless it's gone now, I won't buy it again. I've managed to use up four mascaras this year. Well, actually five mascaras this year. Three of them are minis, one by Lancome. The other one was the Sumptuous Mascara by Estee Lauder. The last one was by Clarence and that was the Wonder Perfect Mascara. The Wonder Perfect Mascara is the only one I would be repurchasing, but I do have, I believe, a full size of the Hypnose Mascara. It was okay. I just opened them quite a while back and I stopped using them. So I thought I might as well just keep using them till they are completely gone so that I can obviously get rid of them at last. On top of that I used up two full-size mascaras. One of them was by Lancome Monsieur Big and the other one was by Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. The Monsieur Big was a really good mascara but it became really dry really fast. I used my contact lens solution to dissolve the dried up mascara and it worked. It helped. I did manage to use up the product completely but I was really disappointed because this I think is a pretty big mascara. It's got 10 milliliters so if a mascara that is 10 milliliters dries up within two months that means there's still a lot of product left that you haven't had a chance to use up and that is just not good. I, as I said, I did use it up because I did manage to mix up some contact lens solution and it worked, but still, I mean, this is an expensive mascara. It's by Lancome. I don't understand why it was completely dry so soon. The other one, the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I really don't know why it's called Colossal because it didn't make my eyelashes look colossal. That's for sure. It did separate them nicely and it gave them a really natural look. I did actually 
actually put I think two or even three coats of this mascara on my eyelashes to achieve the result that I wanted which I don't normally do I normally just put one coat of mascara overall I'm not particularly happy with this mascara I won't be repurchasing it that's for sure I won't be repurchasing this one either because I just wanted to test it and now I have there's plenty of other mascaras I would like to try and this one as I said is not only on the expensive side but also it just dried up really quickly I managed to use up two eyeliners both by L'Oreal both in black both of them I did use for a number of years so I just really wanted to use them up completely before they went bad they were okay they were just fine I think that I currently have only one black liquid eyeliner which is kind of interesting I don't use eyeliners on an everyday basis so I think that having one eyeliner is perfectly fine with me I don't feel that I really need more than one at a given time I've used up three nail polishes one by Maybelline, one by OPI and one by Bourjois. The Bourjois one, I don't think there is a color on it, but it was a really dark shade. I couldn't quite tell whether it was super dark green or purple or purplish green. The Maybelline one was in Green Miracle and the OPI one was in Oh My Majesty. I didn't really like either one of them so I will definitely not be repurchasing either one of them not to mention I actually have plenty of nail polishes in my collection anyway so I'm sure that I can find similar shades if I really wanted to I've decided to get rid of my Real Techniques beauty sponge it was just really old I used it to apply a number of different things not really the foundation but concealer and a blush so it's just really really damaged it is really dirty I just didn't even bother to clean it up at the moment I don't think I have another beauty sponge actually but I have I think two beauty blenders at least so I think this will be enough for me for the foreseeable future I don't really need to have this particular sponge in my collection at the moment moving on to skincare I have used up quite a few products I tend to apply serum and face cream and an under eye serum and under eye cream and oils daily so that's quite a few products that I apply onto my face so no wonder I have have quite a few empties to do with this area. I've used up the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Solution. I did not like it. It went really quickly. It's a very inexpensive item as probably everyone knows but I just didn't like it. It didn't really do anything for my face. I do need some salicylic acid every now and then but I don't feel that I need to use it on an everyday basis and so I will not be repurchasing this one. It didn't really do much for my face as far as I could tell. I've used up the nude advanced renewal serum it was a sample size five milliliters it was actually really nice I didn't really notice a huge difference in the appearance of my skin because it was just five milliliters but overall I found it to be quite pleasant to apply to my face I might be tempted to purchase this again I, I don't really know yet but there's just such a great choice of serums for face that it's kind of difficult to choose which one you want to try and because I've already tried this one and I tend to move on from the ones that I've tried in the past onto something new it's kind of unlikely that I will be buying this again this is a retinal treatment by philosophy and I actually have another one of these so this was actually pretty good initially I felt that maybe I didn't need it because I've been using an actual prescription retinal but what I've learned is that the prescription retinal is very drying so every now and then I have to stop using it because I need for my skin to just calm down and become a little bit more nourished and hydrated and when I do that I use this retinol it's definitely a lot more gentle it's a retinol so it's not a tretinoic acid so it's not gonna irritate skin as much it might not help as much either but I do like to use it every now and then when I stop using my prescription retinol I do have another one of these and I'm pretty happy with it this is probably my very favorite product that I can talk about in these empties this is by Dr. Dennis Gross professional grade resurfacing liquid peel and this is the step one there is also step two and they came together now the funny thing is that I used this one up quite a while back already whereas the step two I continued using till the end of January this year so it's kind of weird that they are both the same size but I finished up one of them quite early on whereas the second one I continued using for another couple of months or so nevertheless this really is a great product and if I had to pick one only one product from all of my empties or even all the products that I used for my skin in 2019 this one is definitely one that I would recommend it's very 
expensive but it's very effective another anti-acne solution this is by clinic anti-blemish solutions this is with i think salicylic acid it's really good it's really nice i did enjoy using it all over my face it definitely helped my acne heal a lot quicker i don't currently have it because i'm no longer using anti-acne solutions on an everyday basis just because i have a prescription retinol i would recommend it to anyone who struggles with acne because it's a really good product it definitely helped my acne prone skin i used up two of the cougar snail slime facial serums and initially i was really happy with them but to be quite honest with you i don't think there's any snail slime in them i think there's just a lot of hyaluronic acid and that's why i was so happy with the product ever since i finished these i just started to use hyaluronic acid products and i get exactly same results so i won't be buying this again but it was really nice but again it was i think just hyaluronic acid based even though it says snail slime it did help to plump up my skin it, it did help with the hydration i did use quite a number of these in the past i just kind of got bored so i've moved on from it and now i'm just trying other products instead another anti acne product this is by origins super spot remover a product that i do like and i currently have i don't use it as often as i once did i have a sense that they might have reformulated it because the older version the one i got a few years back in my opinion was better i don't think i will be repurchasing this in the future even though i already have a, a little bottle of this that i'm currently using at the moment i'm not using it very often to be quite honest and because as i said before i am using a prescription anti-acne medicine i don't feel that i need all of those extra anti-acne products like this one for example murad advanced active radiance serum i did like using it but i didn't really feel like i had very many benefits this is just 10 milliliters it was like a sample size i did like it i actually really like murad i am currently using some of their products and i really feel that they are helping my skin i don't hear very many people talking about murad but i would be keen to try other products from this brand so far i don't think i have found a product that i didn't like from them so i might not be repurchasing this particular serum but i feel that i will be potentially buying some other products in the future gly skin care hyaluronic serum it was just a hyaluronic serum i don't remember what i felt about it it was okay it was just a hyaluronic serum so i think that really there's no difference between one hyaluronic serum and other serums i won't be repurchasing it because i don't feel that i need this particular one but it was okay chorus wild rose brightening and line smoothing serum this was a serum that was meant to have vitamin c i did enjoy it it sank into my skin really quickly i was using it in the morning under my makeup so it worked perfectly fine the only thing is that first i don't feel that it did all that much and second i use it up so fast it was literally a couple of months maybe and this product was completely gone and it is 30 milliliters so it's not like a tiny size so i don't think i will be repurchasing this particular product i do like chorus i want to try more products from them i am currently using a vitamin c serum from murad and i think i am a little bit happier with that product than i was with this one nevertheless it didn't really do anything bad to my skin either it was just an okay product i've used up julique skin balancing face oil in a mini size 10 milliliters i really like this product it was so easy to use it didn't leave like a greasy texture on my skin a little went a really long way it was a mini size but i was using it for many months i was really surprised with how long it took me to use it and the dropper was really really good so i actually for a while used the dropper with a different oil whose dropper was and is really rubbish i don't think i will be repurchasing this oil just because there's so many other products i want to try but it was a good product i would say i've used up two lms pro collagen advanced eye treatments i did like them i was glad that i had two i think that there was quite a lot of hyaluronic acid in them it was really hydrating i did enjoy using it i won't be repurchasing it because i didn't really see much of a difference in the way that the skin under my eyes looked and it is a fairly pricey product but nevertheless i was perfectly happy with using it for i think it was maybe six seven or maybe even more months but now that both of them are gone i don't think i will be buying it again another lms absolute eye serum again it was an okay product i actually remember what i felt about it i think this was in the old packaging i got it from like an outlet shop so maybe that's why i didn't do that much for my skin but yeah it was okay i used up one sample of the lancome la vie belle perfume i love this perfume 
perfume i have a full bottle of it and some uh, kind of like a purse sprays i love this perfume i just wanted to get rid of this tiny one because i had the full size one so i've used it up and i loved it and i still love it i used up two anti-wrinkle miracle worker eye products this is a retinol product by philosophy for the under eye area i used up a few of these over the years and i don't think i like them to be quite honest with you i don't think they did anything for my under eye area and actually maybe even made it worse which is very surprising to me but no i will not be buying these in the future and under eye cream uh, from chorus that was the wild rose one so that was with vitamin c i really liked it it was really moisturizing for my under eye area it contained spf 15 which is a bonus and it was just really moisturizing which i really like for this particular area because my under eye area tends to be quite dry so that's why i put extra product in that area and always look for a better one so i will not be repurchasing it just because i want to try other products but overall it was probably my very favorite under eye cream that maybe i've used ever this is by philosophy renewed hope in a jar eye and this was a seven milliliter sample i completely cannot recall what i felt about this under eye cream it was probably just okay i won't be buying it again and another eye cream this is by clinique Pepsi start eye cream again i don't remember what i thought about it this was a sample and it was only watch three milliliters i use it up i can't remember even using it so i don't think i will be buying it in the future a face serum by number seven protect and perfect intense advanced serum i used up three of them in total i think not the last year but the year before it's okay it kind of expired on me towards the end which i was very disappointed about it was nice i didn't notice much difference in the appearance of my skin so i won't be buying it again a face cream by nukes this is creme fresh 24 hour soothing and moisturizing cream i am not 100 certain that this is even for the face but i did use it for my face it was perfectly fine nothing special it just moisturized my face it didn't really claim to do much more and it didn't if you want a really basic face cream then you might want to try this one i won't be buying it because i need more than what this cream offered but overall it was perfectly fine with me clarins spf 50 sun wrinkle control cream for face this was actually a really good spf it worked really well for wearing under makeup and i did like it a lot i might purchase it in the future the only thing is that it is i think quite heavily fragranced it smells really good but obviously you don't really want fragrance on your face i would say this is my very favorite spf that i've ever used for my face and depending on whether i can find something even better i might be buying it in the future i'm really trying to rush for these empties there seems so many of them and i want to say something about every single product that i've used up last year and it's just taking so 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 long so i will try to speed through the rest of them as quickly as possible rodeo dragon's blood sculpting gel this is a face product which i did enjoy using but i don't feel like it has done much to my face it is something that i would consider using in the future if there was nothing that i could find that was in my view better or something that i would want to try but overall it's an expensive product pretty good product in terms of moisturizing your face or keeping your skin plump but overall i'm always looking for something even better so i'm not really sure whether i will be buying it again i also used up the dragon's blood eye gel that's by rodeo again this is for my under eye area i'm actually quite surprised with how many items for my under eye area i've managed to use up in 2019 again this was okay i would consider buying it if there was nothing that i wanted to try but overall again Again, I didn't really notice a huge difference in the appearance of my under eye area. This probably is because overall I try to take care of my skin and my under eyes in particular. So I would say that most of the products that I use are considered to be good products and that is no exception and another on the eye product this is by mgc derma anti-aging day cream for under eyes so this is cbd stem cells and peptides eye cream it's actually really big it's 30 milliliters i believe but it didn't take me all that long to use it up i am currently using this very cream again because i just wanted to see whether it does anything i don't really try very many products with cbd but this sort of came my way and i thought well why not and 
and because it's such a big product it means that I don't really have to replace it very often it is on the more expensive side but not extremely expensive so that also matches so far I haven't really noticed much of a difference in the appearance of my eyes it's very lightweight cream so I suspect that I just really need a powerful serum to put underneath it and see how this works on top of it on its own I don't really expect it to do very much for my under eyes apart from moisturizing the skin a face product renewed hope in a jar by philosophy this is a night cream it was okay you know sometimes I really don't know what to say about creams because it's very rare that I notice anything different between the creams that I am using and this one was an okay cream but again it didn't perform miracles and it wasn't very bad so there's not much to say about it it was okay I won't be buying it again because there's so many other creams that I want to try LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream for face I used up I think two of these at some point one full size and one sort of a mini it was okay again it's an expensive product but I really didn't see much of a difference in the appearance of my skin and I've been using it for long enough to I think notice if there was any difference so I will not be buying it again this is another face cream this is by Chorus Wild Rose it was really nice really moisturizing really easy to apply and I did enjoy using this cream it was 40 milliliters which is a little bit smaller than the standard face cream but I did like using it and I would probably consider using it again because of its moisturizing properties. I've used up the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil so this is retinol oil. It was nice but it's just a little bit too expensive in my view. There are other products that are performing pretty much just as well in my opinion. I've used up the whole bottle and it was good but it wasn't anything amazing so I don't think I will be buying this oil in the near future. Jolique Herbal Recovery advanced serum a really nice serum but like with so many of other products that I've used up I didn't really notice it changing my face or my skin it was good it was a product that I used with pleasure I like Julie if that's how you pronounce the name of this company it's just an okay product I don't think I will be buying it again but if I had no other ideas for a new serum then I would consider buying another one of these I used up one lip mask it's called the lip balm but actually I would say it's a mask this is by NYX this is their pretty famous lip balm I love this lip balm I am currently using another one of these I put it on my lips in the evening before I go to bed then I smear some Vaseline on top of it and it works like a charm my lips are not as dry and chopped as they used to be since I started using this product so I'm perfectly happy with it and for the time being I will continue using it until I find something even better if there is anything better that I could possibly try. I've used up two oils by Clarins. These are just minis. So one is five milliliters. This one is two milliliters. This one is the Blue Orchid Face Treatment Oil and this one is Santo Face Treatment Oil. They were really nice. They absorbed really quickly and actually those little samples they lasted a really long time. Although I don't think I would be buying it again. It is worth considering if you need a face oil. These are really good even to put in the morning under your makeup. I've used up a uh, sample of La Roche-Posay Antelius XL sun protection cream SPF 50. It was okay. I don't recall much about it but I always want to try new SPFs because not all of them unfortunately work under makeup. This worked under makeup just fine. Then another sort of a sample. This is Lancome foaming cleansing makeup remover. It smelled absolutely amazing but I don't think I used it correctly. There were no instructions on this little sample so I didn't really know how to use it. If I ever run out of what I'm using now I could consider buying it in the full size and maybe using it properly but other than that it worked fine I would say it didn't really amaze me. I've used up two sets of under eye masks by Christian Breton. They were really dry. When I put them under my eyes I didn't see any moisture. I didn't feel any moisture whatsoever so maybe they were old I got them from TK Maxx I would not be buying them again they didn't do anything for my skin I used up Clarins Hydra Quench cream mask it didn't wow me I won't be buying it again it was just 15 milliliters kind of a sample size it was okay I didn't really notice much of a difference between when I was using this mask and when I wasn't using this mask so I won't be buying it again Glam Glow Super Matte Clearing Treatment I really like this and I have another one of these 
these i will probably continue using them in the foreseeable future i did enjoy it it is a good mask i think it really helps with controlling blemishes it applies easily it removes really easily it's a hassle-free mask although it leaves a lot of mess in your sink because it's a matte mask so it's quite dark but overall uh, the results were pretty good after using this mask so i will probably continue using this mask until I again find something better. Clarins Gentle Peeling Smooth Away Cream with Primrose Extract. This dried up in this tube, so I haven't actually used it up completely. I don't think I liked using it, to be honest. It was very strange. The way I needed to use it was a little bit odd because you would apply it to your face and then almost immediately you would have to remove it and it was kind of sticky, kind of like a, like a clay mask. I didn't really like it. I'm definitely not gonna buy it again. Clarins Super Restorative for replenishing comfort mask and that was a five milliliter sample i don't remember this doing anything to my skin to be honest i have moved on from clarence in the last year there are some really good products from clarence but i wouldn't say that their masks are the best products that they sell and this mask really didn't do anything for my face as far as i could tell now moving on to body and hair care and there's still quite a lot of products Go. I've used up two of the Chorus hand creams. I love this hand cream. This is the Organic Almond Oil and Calendula hand cream. This has been discontinued, so somehow I managed to get hold of it every now and then in kind of like outlet stores. I currently have another one, which is actually just behind me. I really like it. It works really well for me. I would like to continue using it for as long as I can find it. Another hand cream. This is 8 Hour Cream by Elizabeth Arden. I don't think I liked it very much. For a little while, I was actually using it on my lips. So yeah i don't think i will be using it again i don't anticipate purchasing this cream ever again this cream is by origins make a difference a rejuvenating hand cream lovely lovely smell i love this cream i got it in their sale because they sort of discontinued it i think they put it in a different packaging now i might consider buying it again because it was a really nice nourishing cream and it smelled really nice another hand cream this is by julique this is the rose hand cream i don't remember much about it i did didn't like the smell of it i don't think i will be buying this hand cream again it was probably okay but it didn't wow me some cleaning products femme fresh intimate skin care daily wash i didn't care for this product to be quite honest i stopped using this kind of product at all i just use my normal regular shower gel don't see any difference at all and these tend to be quite a bit more expensive than the regular shower gel so i don't think i will be buying this again cinnamon bands this is by philosophy as you could possibly tell I had quite a few items from Philosophy that I used up in 2019. This is a really big shower gel. This is 480 milliliters, so it took me many months to actually use it up. It was okay, it smelled nice, but towards the end it started to develop some very strange chemical smell, which I didn't like at all. Nevertheless, I used it up because it still worked fine. I don't think I'll be buying this again just because it's such a big gel. I want to use new products as often as I possibly can, so I don't think I will be using this one but at first it did smell really good another buff and shower gel this is by novavi cosmetology i actually took it from a hotel room where i was staying a while back i just didn't want to throw it away when i got home even though i didn't really like it so yeah it was it was fine just to clean yourself in the shower clarins exfoliating body scrub for smooth skin one of those products that you can get for a lot cheaper in the drugstore this was just a sample 30 milliliters but i won't be buying it again it was okay nothing special though and considering the price i would expect it to perform better than drugstore products two space and k body lotions one in ultimate wind body lotion and the other one is the jump start body lotion i didn't like them they didn't really absorb easily into my skin it just wasn't worth really trying them again and i don't think they are even available in space and k anymore i didn't like it i loved space and k shower gels but not their body lotions they really didn't do anything for me and was struggled to even smear them on my skin after the shower because they just wouldn't sink in another disappointing body lotion this is by prismology yellow day body lotion with bergamot and citrine i really didn't like it i didn't like the smell of it it wouldn't absorb into my skin it was a pain to use it i don't think it's even available
available anymore but I definitely wouldn't be buying this again especially not for the price that this was sold when I got it so yeah I'm not particularly interested in buying anything from this company based on how bad this body lotion was I used up a nail polish remover this is just by Boots it was okay it's kind of strong but it's okay I mean I can't ever tell the difference between different nail polish removers apart from the fact that one or the other might be removing my nail polish quicker but it normally comes with extra damage to my nails this one was fine I might have to repurchase it because you don't really get that much of a variety in terms of nail polish removers so I will see I also used up the Origins Never A Dull Moment Skin Brightening Face Polisher with fruit extracts I used it in the morning just as a first cleanse actually the only cleanse I do in the morning it was perfectly fine it was easy gentle but you could still feel some scrubbing on your face I don't think I would buy it again just because you can buy something very similar from drugstore for a lot cheaper and I am kind of moving away from physical exfoliators so even though it was a good product I don't think I will be buying it again Chorus Wild Rose Exfoliating Cleanser it was perfectly fine I don't remember much about it it was probably just a normal cleanser to be fair in terms of cleansers you can get so many that were quite decent that they kind of blend into one I don't honestly remember what I felt about this one but I think it was okay I in general like Chorus so if there was anything wrong with the product I probably would have remembered this was probably just a normal decent face cleanser Murad AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser this is a mini 30 milliliters another good one another exfoliating one another one I can't recall using this year I used up a pack of cleansing wipes makeup removing wipes by simple and let me tell you I was really pleasantly surprised with these I don't normally use cleansing wipes but so many people recommended those ones and occasionally I just want to wipe off swatches on my hand so I thought I would get these considering the price and they were really really good they were really good I was super surprised that they were so good again I don't think I will be buying these anytime soon I might consider buying them if I find a purpose for them in the future but overall I just don't really use cleansing wipes to remove my makeup I use all sorts of other products instead so I don't think I'll be buying these but if I needed cleansing wipes I would definitely consider purchasing these I finished up I think three makeup removers one of them is by Nukes this is the micellar cleansing water I think it might have been a mini size 100 milliliters it was really nice this was the first micellar water I ever used and I did enjoy using it I don't think I'll be buying it again but not because it was bad it was a really good product in my opinion Elemis white flower eye and lip makeup remover this was an okay product considering the price I don't think I'll be buying it again because it was just okay and Chorus jasmine eye makeup removal lotion this irritated my eyes so for that reason I would definitely not be buying this again but overall it removed my makeup just fine now I have a number of minis from Baileys and Harding and they were actually a set that was gifted to me quite a while back so I used up all of the products so I'm not going to be showing them individually but you have how many bottles is that that's eight mini bottles and you either had a lotion or a shower gel they were fine but I'm not going to be buying them again they were absolutely not to the standard that I'm used to I just used them up because I had them but overall I would definitely not recommend these and I would definitely not be buying them again a random item I've used up the real techniques brush cleansing gel it was fine it was okay nothing special I won't be buying it again the last category is hair products I used up this way smoothing spray which I didn't like at all this sticker kept peeling off and I would have it on my hands afterwards it didn't do anything for my hair as far as I could tell I would definitely not be buying it again I think it's been discontinued as well this is one of the best if not the best shampoo I have ever tried by IGK this is bad and bougie Amla all deep repair shampoo is fantastic for frizzy hair like my hair I will definitely consider buying this shampoo again I am trying some other products from IGK at the moment but this is probably the best shampoo I have ever bought for my hair so yes I would definitely put it on my shopping list for the future Red Can Frizz Dismiss Mask I use it up but it didn't do anything for my hair as far as I could tell in fact I haven't yet found a mask that really does all that much for my hair so even though it says Frizz Dismiss it really didn't tame my frizz at all I won't be buying it this is again by IGK 
Okay, this is Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I didn't really feel like it did anything for my hair. It smelled pleasantly. It was just a sample, so maybe that's why I didn't really have enough product to test it properly, but I don't think I'll be buying it again. This is by Sonoma Naturals, and this is a coconut oil, which was meant to be for your face. It's a face serum, but I used it on my hair instead. I don't really feel like coconut oil really does much for my hair, apart from making it very greasy, so I will definitely not be buying this or possibly any another coconut oil in the future. The last three products are from Aveda. Two of them are thickening conditioner and one of them is exfoliating shampoo. I didn't notice anything but maybe because these are samples I will definitely not be buying these again. And this is it guys. So it's been probably a very long video. Uh, there's been a lot of products that I wanted to show you. I have used up quite a lot of products. I'm quite surprised with how many products I actually managed to finish in 2019. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if if you did then please make sure to give it a like and please subscribe to my channel for more similar videos in the near future thank you once again for watching and i will see you soon bye guys